Okay, so look at the difference in that posture. That's a lot more rounded yeah. and hunched that there. Again, we're not going to get a perfectly straight line. Sorry, we're not going to get a perfectly straight line. Right, but that's okay. a lot better than than that. Than well. that. Well, I think if we go too much, it's going to feel a little bit too <coughs> much stress in the lower hip and the, and the lower back. And yeah. the fair. So that for me, in terms of posture, yeah, yeah. is fine. You're in a good. The back is straighter. The angles we're creating from shoulder to hip. We're looking for sort of 90 degrees between the club and the shaft, which you've got, okay? As you swing the top of the back swing now, swing the top, good position there, left arm across your chest, left wrist, nice and flat. Just a little bit close to the hands or to the... No, no, it's it's like, it, it looks close because you haven't yeah. gone back far enough, that's all. And that, that I yeah. think, will get longer maybe because right. these muscles haven't swung this way for <laughs> the best part of X number of years. So yeah. they're going to be a little bit tight and stiff. And yeah. to be fair, potentially tomorrow, you might feel a bit of pain oh, down here I'm, and down here. You've been yeah, already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a few glasses, something stronger, sort of warm you up in the morning, okay? Loosen you up, okay? But yeah, there's definitely going to be some joints now that haven't been used in yeah. the past in that way. But yeah, in terms of the movement now, the head's there nice and steady, nice sort of good rotation there now. We're not swaying to that right right side as you come down here now if we're loosening the grip the hands can just fall down to here nicely that's going to bring the club down to sort of a hitting position club nose down the golf ball good strike of the ball and we can just release through now nice and freely without any kind of tension or jagged or stiff and da -da 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 -da. i mean anything we do we try to want control think of you writing with a pen you yeah. wouldn't squeeze the pen <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you're just going to hold a pen there yeah. you just grip in your fingers so you can do this if i said squeeze it now try and write <laughs> like a kid sort of just gripping like a hammer and trying to just scribble all over the place, wouldn't it? There'd be no control of that object, okay? So the tighter we grip it, the shorter the swing is going to be. I don't think on this one the swing was as long there. Hands look very similar there, to be fair, not much further away. But in terms of the sway there, if we look at kind of your shadow on there, that to me this was a little bit of a the sway that we were seeing. And that right foot now, a bit of roll there and that right foot showing you're swaying a bit more onto that right side if you don't want to be doing okay that sway to the right meant that you were going to generally bottom out a bit early yeah. and if your swing path is bottoming out oops, sorry bottoming out somewhere here that's going to encourage that chuck flip yeah. exactly okay and then you'll have to then try and hold on to it yeah and as a result of that, it's going to just sort of keep the club face open, send it stupidly high. Yeah. It might go straight, but a 7 iron's going to go 110 or 120, yeah. not the 140. You should be getting yeah. And maybe 150. I mean, you had a couple of 145 with a 7 iron. Yeah. 137 yeah. carry, 145 finish. Oh, so on this time of no year now, yeah, <laughs> this time of year now, probably 137 carries yeah. about 137 total. But yeah, yeah, in the summertime. And again, your muscles are going to be a little bit stiffer, haven't mm. moved this, this way in a long time. Over time, if you can get your back straighter, you'll be able to move more efficiently. Yeah. You'll be able to get more speed by getting a better strike because the golf ball only knows the angle of the metal whacking it. It doesn't know what club it's been hit by. No. So if you get a seven on it, actually add loft to it by four or five degrees, well, it goes on an eight iron. Mm. So it would go an eight iron distance. Yeah. Okay. If it goes even more so and you lean back on it, you'd have to flick it and move a nine iron. Mm. Okay, I'll go nine iron distance. Yeah. It can't see the number on the bottom. Oh, you give me a seven iron, John. Okay, I'll go 150. Yeah. It'll go right and you give me... 46 degrees aloft, <laughs> I'm going to go up there somewhere. So if we can get the information to that golf ball better, so better posture, yeah. looser grip, yeah, that's definitely. your two setup things, okay, and that's going to help generate everything. Okay, and then in terms of swing-wise, a little bit more on top of the ball in terms of your swing, so you're trying to sort of cover the ball, keep your body in a more rotational rather than the lateral sway side to side, which, if I'm honest, is a bit of an old-school type of swing. Mm. I was taught years ago, it was kind of like just sway the right foot, sway well, the left that, foot. That, that, was, that, was, my, that was, was my first action, was yeah, yeah. that. Get onto your right to side. Get, exactly. To get the yeah, weight yeah, on the right side. Yeah, exactly. And then... Yeah. Was the, yeah. you say, the, the thing is, though, know, when you were probably a bit younger and more supple, yeah. than me, you <laughs> could get to your right side, you could get back to your left yes. side, and knew yeah. how to time it. Yeah. Nowadays, it's just why, why add a movement to the goal swing? We don't need to make into the goal swing. We can be just okay, open and close the door rather than open it and move laterally and then close it and move back. There's too many variables going on in that movement that are going to be relying so much on timing. Can and you go back to the top? Yeah, of course. To the top of your back swing, yeah, yeah. And, and see what my first movement is there. Cause so I, from I, there, I look, yeah, it, it, I'm still my head and. Still come behind the ball a bit, isn't it? Not really, no, I'm saying it's, it's your, arm, your arms. It's probably bit. my head's um, dipping a little bit. But. A little bit towards your low after, I yeah. would say, but that's probably a bit loss of posture there because you're coming down. Yeah. But the hands are working on a good angle. Right. The lower half's unwinding, your hips are cleared, their impact. Shoulders are still square. So that's a good start position there, okay? As you come in the impact there, okay? There's so a lot of good things on there. One thing I'd be careful of, yeah. and what I'd encourage, if you go on the range, by all means, film your swing, send them through to me as I'm, as I'm, as I'm um, as a contact and say, okay, right, here's my swing, how's it looking? I can report back in 50 yeah. seconds and go, okay, yeah, tick, 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 good, or, oh, hang on, John, you're doing this again, or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but don't then film it yourself and go, hang on a second, oh, 
Is that going? Oh, that's a bit there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and that's. Oh, hang on, that's, that's <laughs> stopping. Because then you analyse every yeah. square into that goal swing. Yeah, no. And if you think if we, if this is on a sort of a fairly sort of slow mo cam, if we imagine every single frame when the golf club starts going back, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm. 9, 10, 11, 12, I mean, you know, you've got 13 positions. Yeah. If you analyse every single one, you go, oh, hang on, mm. 6 and 4 weren't very good, but 8, oh, mm. that's <laughs> too much, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. We've got to get a good setup, yeah. looser, and in some just let your swing happen. There's, there's a good movement there, to be fair. I mean, okay. you can see you were a good golfer when you played before and stuff, mm. and I don't see any reason why that wouldn't come back. The good thing is, mentally, you know what a 6 handicapper has to do, yeah. how to score, how to take certain options on, and what not to do. Yeah. If you were someone who never got down to 6 handicap, trying to get back down to 6, Say 10, 11, 12. I go, well, okay, mm. potentially, but mm. we'll see. The mm. fact you've been off six, you still know what six feels like mentally. Yeah. Physically, yeah. not quite there yet, but mentally, no. that's not going to change. No. You'll know how to play certain holes and they get the best out of the hole and what shots are taken. Short yeah. game might be still pretty good. Okay, okay? Yeah. Good man.